What's going on YouTube? This is Zach from The Rolling Times and today we're going to be working on my Corrado. If this is your first time tuning in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, if you guys like cars, you're going to love this channel. I do a lot of different cars on the channel. Um, myself, I personally like European cars, but I like a little bit of everything. Um, so you'll see all kinds of different cars on my channel. Today we're going to be covering the, what you need and how to do the OBD2 conversion in a OBD1 VR6, um, like a Corrado. So I know this stuff has been covered on the forums, but I, have, I haven't seen any videos on it. And I do videos and I like videoing when I work on my car. So hopefully you guys can get some information from this video. Um, before I just go on talking about nonsense, I'm going to get out everything that you'll need for this swap. It's not a lot of parts. Most of the stuff can be had from a B4 Passat or a Mark III Jetta. So let's get to it. The parts you're gonna need for the OBD2 conversion are going to vary depending if your car came with a distributor or a coil pack, but all the swaps are gonna need these essential parts. Uh, you need an OBD2 intake manifold, um, a complete OBD2 engine compartment harness, which is basically the harness that goes from the engine harness to the ECU and, uh, and all through your engine compartment back into uh, the car and plug into the fuse box. Your engine harness will be the harness with your injector plugs and plugs that go to the mass airflow sensor and stuff. You will need an OBD2 mass airflow sensor, and if you're swapping a distributor OBD1 VR6, you will also need a coil pack, and you'll need to swap out the timing cover and the cam gear because that has the pickup for the camshaft position sensor. Um, I don't think I have quite everything here, but I tried to get most of the stuff. You'll also need OBD2 VR6 uh, O2 sensors. And I think that's it, but if I missed anything, I'll add it into the video then. But this is most of what you need, and you can get most of these parts from a Mark III Jetta VR6 or a B4 Passat VR6. As you guys can see, I have no engine or trans in my car. Uh, that might give me a little bit more room to work, but that is not necessary in order to do the swap. It just so happens that my engine needs a head gasket, so while I'm replacing the head gasket, I'm going to be doing the swap. I took the whole engine out of the car because I just want to pick up a running OBD2 VR to swap into it and I will put that engine on the back burner and build it up for later use. Um, what we're going to do now is start by taking out the engine compartment harness. Uh, most of this is held in by the factory like zip ties but they actually have a release on them so you don't have to cut them if you want to just release them and pull all the wires out. You can keep all the factory harness ties there. Um, so I'm going to start by removing everything here on this side of the frame rail and then remove the ECU and the harness that goes to it. The engine harness is already out because that's on the engine. Um, so we'll try and get some clips of us taking this stuff apart, but this part's pretty self-explanatory. You just want to disconnect the engine compartment harness. Once we get to disconnecting it on the inside and pulling it through, I will talk about a little bit of that. There are some things that we need to depin so we can repin the new harness.
All right, guys, we have this harness pretty much ready to come out of the car. Um, as you can see here, I have separated all the compartment harnesses. We have the engine compartment harness here separated from the fan harness and the headlight harness. Uh, the Mark III harness that I got has the headlight and the fan harness integrated into it. So it's going to be a little bit more work, but I'm going to have to unwrap that and remove all the extra stuff I don't need because obviously the lighting harness is a little bit different for the Corrado and we don't want to put the Mark III harness in there. I'm told if you get the Passat harness, the fan and the headlight harness is separate. So there's less work that you have to do if you want to swap that over. Um, so right now, basically all I have left to do to take this harness out is disconnect the plugs from the fuse box and feed them through. There are a couple main connectors. I will post a picture up of them, but basically it is your three white connectors here. And then I think there's six or seven other plugs that you have to unplug from under the dash to get that harness out. Um, I started by dropping the fuse panel. When you get in there with a the light, you kind of got to push it up and pull it out. And then on the driver's side, you just pull it down. But once that's dropped, you just got to reach behind there, unplug those four white connectors and the rest of the plugs that I'll post a picture of. And then you can start feeding the wires out through the firewall. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this part of the video. Um, in the next part of the video, we will have the old harness out and I will probably record what I do to modify the Mark III harness to fit. That way, if you guys can't find a Passat harness and it's a lot easier to find the Jetta harness, um, you can see what I did to modify it to make it work. Um, and then once I have the harness out, it'll be easier to show you what plugs actually need to be unplugged from the back of the fuse box. I can barely fit under there. It'd be nice if my wonderful girlfriend Brandy would crawl under the dash and unplug that stuff but I don't think she's going to, so I will have to fit my fat ass under there to unplug everything. Uh, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Stay tuned for part two, uh, and then we'll see how much part two covers, and then if we need to make a part three or four, we can. Uh, I just want to try and keep the videos to 10 minutes long. I also want to thank the guys on Facebook on the Corrado user group page and Burn All the Corrados, as well as the write-up that the guy did on Corrado Club of Canada form because um, that's basically what I'm using to give me the knowledge to do this stuff. So give credit where credit is due. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.